Taoiseach. Uh, at the present time, farmers fe feel very uh, uh, isolated, demonised, and like the whole world is down on top of them. Worries about head reduction, cuts to their incomes and livelihoods, and severe new restrictions and regulations coming down the line. Is it by coincidence or design that prices quoted for fertiliser at present are now double what they were last August? At the Tagus presentation this morning, the consensus is that the actual availability of fertiliser next spring is in doubt. This scenario could lead to a further crisis, automatic head reduction and break every farmer in the country. Will you ensure that fertiliser will be available uh, after Christmas at a reasonable cost for the farmers of Ireland? First of all, I think you should... Um, there, there is no coincidence. And I think it's wrong to suggest that there is. Uh, well, I'm saying, I'm, yeah, I'm just through the chair saying there's... At least let him start to answer you before you jump down. But the point is there is no connection uh, between climate change uh, plans and proposals and the current issue with supply of fertiliser. Because that's a global issue. It's gas related, uh, as we discussed earlier at the European Union Council meeting. A number of Prime Ministers referenced challenges um, in relation um, to fertiliser, yes, supplies in the coming months. It's going to be problematic. Um, there's lots of supply chain issues that, that are manifesting itself. We know car manufacturing, for example, has taken a big hit uh, because of, of the, the, the um, insufficiency supply of chips, for example. Um, in term, you know, and that, that's happening in the real world. Production uh, targets have been pulled back. You see uh, Apple's announcement this morning uh, in respect of some of its endeavours. So these are very real issues on the global supply chain market at the moment that we're going to have to deal with.